This is a presentation about James Watt. During the time of James Watt being alive, the Industrial Revolution played a huge influence on his entire life. The Industrial Revolution gave rise to the middle class, which allowed James Watt's father to provide for his education. James Watt was born in Scotland, Greenland, which also housed one of the most prestigious schools, such as the University of Glasgow. His education, during, during uh, the early years of James Watt's childhood, he was a very sick child which prevented him from attending schools, but his mother was a very smart individual which allowed her to homeschool James Watt. Also, James Watt's father was a carpenter and, James, and, his, and his father had a workshop and during, free, during James Watt's free time, James Watt would go to his father's workshop and ver build various devices which allowed him, which influenced him on his degree of physics and math. His personal life, as mentioned before, he, he spent a lot of his time in his, in his father's workshop during his, uh, seven, during his time in college. He, he, ha he bought his own workshop which gave him new ideas, inspired ideas such as his the improvement to the steam engine, which gave rise to new agricultural practices. During the time of James Watt, many other individuals were becoming entrepreneurs in their own fields. These people had many opinions of Watt and others. For example, Humphrey Davy said that James Watt was equally distinguished as a natural philosopher and chemist. His inventions demonstrate his profound knowledge of those sciences and that particular characteristic of genius, which is the union for practical application. And so what did James Watt do? Well, James Watt radically improved the Newcomen steam engine. He also had plans for a high-pressure steam engine, which at the time was too dangerous to build without risk of explosion, and introduced the word horsepower to describe the output that his engine provided because originally horses were used to draw water out of mines and then his engine was used so therefore he could relate it to how many horses it had the power of. We now use watts for this measurement. He also first proposed that H2O or water was made of hydrogen and oxygen and he had theories of latent heat which is energy that's released or absorbed by a system. So James Watt's steam engine in 1763, James Watt was repairing one of the Newcomen engines at the, his place of work and was astonished by how little work it did for the amount of fuel that was input into it. And this engine had been used for 50 years. He realized that the problem was that the heat used to generate the steam, when it was done, was cooled with water. And the cooling of the same cylinder became costly in terms of energy. So what James Watt did is he created a condenser surrounded by cold water. The steam would be fed into the condenser, cooling it into liquid water, and creating a partial vacuum to allow the engine to keep working. James Watt was influenced by many people in his academic and personal life. Uh, James Watt became friends with Adam Smith, who wrote The Wealth of Nations, and he also became friends with Professor John Robinson. Uh, Robinson and Watt uh, both discussed a steam-powered vehicle, which at the time was impractical to make, but it helped set Watt's brain in motion into the powers of steam and how to improve the steam engine. And all of this took place during his time at Glasgow University. Because James, James Watt invented a condenser to improve the steam engine, this helped to drive the Industrial Revolution and created mills and factories. With these factories and mills being built, there was an opportunity that opened up for new jobs in the city. With the help of the steam engine, people were able to move manufactured goods and people quicker and more effectively. People were drawn to the city because of these job opportunities that were created by the steam engine. This changed the job outlooks and changed the society from rural-based to urban and industrial-based, which our society is today. It also advanced other industries, such as spinning machines and weaving machines. James Watt is actually a lot like Steve Jobs. They are both inventors and innovators and created a project product that would change the world forever. Just like the steam engine, which helped shape the world we live in today, the invention of the first computer and 
the innovations on the first computer did the same thing. The world would not be what it is today without the help of the inventions of both the steam engine and the computer. Who are they the opposites of? The normal person can be the opposites of James Watt. Watt was an inventor and created something that helped innovate and reshape the world. Most everyday people don't create the first computer or innovate the steam engine or create something revolutionary that would change the world forever.